Okay, this is my quick review of the Intel Celeron J4125 PFSense firewall appliance. I ordered this off Topton store on AliExpress and it came to just over $400 Australian delivered. So what we have here is a neat little uh, Intel device. It's got four LAN ports as you can see. It's powered by 12 volts DC. And it has a few other interesting ports here being HDMI, USB, VGA. Um, there's not much information online about this, so I just thought I'd open it up for the people who are interested to see what actually came with what I ordered. Okay, um, that's the solid state drive, 128 M SATA, some generic brand. Uh, that's the DDR4 memory, 8 gig. There's a single sodium socket here for that. Uh, the SATA there, it also has another socket for Wi-Fi if you want to add it, that's not on this one. If you do add it, you can see there's a couple of places to put your antennas. Um, it's got a bunch of other niche features too. Uh, I'm not going to take advantage of them, but you can see SATA here, uh, SATA power, some front panel connectors, uh, serial COM port, a bunch of jumpers to configure stuff. Uh, that's even a fan there, and you can see this CMOS battery as well. So, um, yeah, a lot of stuff packed into here. The CPU's on the underside um, against this big heatsink because uh, it's all fanless. So let's fire it up and see what it looks like. Okay, this thing loaded straight up. Uh, plugged into HDMI and it booted straight at PFSense. Uh, as I'd selected that option when I ordered it, I didn't get a chance to go into BIOS screen, but I did a quick check with DMessage here. It's running a slightly older version of PFSense 245. The latest is 252 at the time of recording. Um, but everything is as specified. You get four core Celeron CPU, you can see there. Um, and then a really cool thing, obviously, you've got these four Intel Pro 1000 Ethernet ports. So pressing delete during startup brings you into the BIOS screen. It's running an AMI BIOS, um, relatively recent. And uh, it seems like they've got most of the options enabled. So um, I saw a lot of good things when I was scrolling around. It's running UEFI, obviously. Uh, yep, all looks good there. Also, I forgot to mention, here's what came in the box. The device, this uh, SATA cable, uh, the 12 volt power supply, and a few spare screws. Everything came quickly, well packed, very happy with that service. By the way, I found the manufacturer of the motherboard, they're called Deep Blue Technologies of Shenzhen. You can see the URL link there. Um, they don't have the very latest revision of the motherboard manual online, but you can download some of the slightly older versions. So I got that and translated to English just so I've got some reference. Um, the key differences I noted is that this shows two sodium slots, whereas the version 1.2a revision uh, board I have uh, has only one slot. Um, I didn't really notice any other significant differences. Everything seems to line up.